You know, I was reading this book by Hans Christian Andersen called The Emperor's New Clothes. I'm sure many of you out there in the world and your lives have heard this, of this, this story as a child or something. And it's a great story because, you know, it's really connected to what I want to talk to you about, right? Weasel face dogs, right? The unenlightened people at your jobs who happen to be weasel face dogs because they do the works of weasels and low level as dogs. But it's really behind their lack of enlightenment and understanding of who they really, really, truly are. The reason why many people do the things they do because they they fail to have some greater understanding of their actions and consequences and so forth. So they're weasel faced dogs, you know, on the surface and, you know, they may rouse your emotions. And these are the people at your jobs who will go out of their way to do many things. And several of the, the series of videos I spoke about the actions that these people do. They may steal a parking space from you. They may try to slight you in some type of way to hurt your feelings, right? But the people who are unenlightened, and I'll go back to this emperor's new clothes thing. If you remember the premise of the story, there was a king and you know he, he, he commissioned some tailors to create a garment for him. And... You know, and they falsely, you know, created a, you know, well, they didn't create anything, but they told him that he had on an invisible garment. And everyone, because they didn't want to fall short of something in his eyes, they agreed that this garment was on him and it, it was beautiful and all of these things, all of these fake people, right? These are representative flying monkeys in your lives. The people that'll say anything to get ahead or something, go along to get along, folks. And then there was one person in the story who actually came forward and saw the light, saw the truth and told the king to his face because they didn't have anything to lose. They were just as real as that. And that person represents the justice empath in the modern world. The people who will tell you to your face, the truth to power speakers, right, who will let these people who believe and assume that they have exalted status of some means who really don't. They're just people just like you. And I talk about this all the time on, on a job about these bosses that you may have in your workspace. Because that's what I talk about a lot mostly. Right? 99% of you guys are working every day. Right? Whether you have a business or, or you're in a working environment, a toxic workplace environment at that. And since we're talking about the toxic environment, you know, this is where it really happens, folks. Right? These are the people, the bosses who play games with you merely for the sport of it because they can. Because there's there's someone, they're exalted. I'm over you. I make more money than you know this type of thinking that they have. But in reality, they breathe the same air that you breathe. They put on their pants the same way that you do. They use the bathroom. There's nothing exalted about who they are as humans, right? They fart. They sleep. They have to sleep or they'll die, right? Right? So... They're just as human as you are, but because of some trinket in society that they have, a job or a nice car or something, they believe themselves to be great. And they treat other people who are equal to them in soul and spirit as, as if they're better. They have no better connection to higher energy. However, they perceive themselves in, in this reality as being something great because they have some money or something. Now, remember, money is merely a freaking piece of paper. I could go take a, a, a carving knife and carve or shave off a, a piece of tree limb or something. And that is really what money is, right? And nowadays, it's more like something abstract, but it's still the same premise, right? It's just a means for you to pay for something, some object or something. It doesn't make you better than anyone, right? I told you guys a long time ago in one of these videos right the person who does not have to breathe air then they have they have some stake on the claim of being better than someone else that person that doesn't have to breathe air okay but most of us right most of you guys out here in the world you have to breathe air so what do these weasel faced dogs do in the name of their unenlightenment right of their misunderstanding of of who they are as humans or you know what their purpose is in life well they do a lot of things, right? You know, they 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 rig the goalposts, so to speak. 
you know, if you're trying to win in life just by coming to work and trying to save up or get ahead or something, they'll be the people who will play these games, right? They'll pay some insignificant person a ton of that paper money, right? And give you trinkets or a mere, just mere morsels of money, right? You may not have enough to pay your bills or something. And you're working hard, right? And that's why I talk about trying to press on and do something greater. Because these people who do this, they're not great, right? They don't have an imaginary high spirit. They're not creative. They can't, they can't do anything, right? And so, you know, these will be those people who, who really are yes men. You could tell them to go step on someone. They'll do it because they want to get ahead, right? At all costs. Any, anything is worth something to them any anything any anything bad is worth doing for something of trivial value to them is what i'm trying to say the weasel face dogs the unenlightened people the bosses i worked many years in the office and we used to go to meetings and i i told you you know we had a lot of senior uh bosses and stuff and we that would preside over these meetings and they would come in you know get to have your little cup of coffee and you know, you simply would say, hey, how you doing? And they would just, you know, huh, you know, throw their head back as if, you know, don't speak to me until I speak to you because I'm exalted. Right. Because I make a high salary. Right. They didn't tell you that they just took a shit and, you know, and barely wiped their ass pretty good enough and ha still have toilet paper or streaks in their drawers or something. Right. They didn't tell you that, but they're telling you that they're better than you. See, I'm trying to get you people to see something. Right, these people are no better than you are. They'll be the ones who create the climates and distress and the negative tensions that you'll deal with every day on a job. Right, for umpteen years, could be twenty years. I don't know what your retirement plans are. And the tragedy, the real tragedy of such things, is that you have to endure this, and it's almost like a race. You have to make it to the finish line. You may die. The stress may kill you before you even get there. And that is the true 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 uh tragic uh series of things that happen to people right you know the people who are trying to press on you know and I, in these environments you know we would have projects and stuff that we would have to get done and these these uh weasels you had the people that would try to throw you under the bus that would try to make themselves look good and get all the glory and take credit for things that you came up with or you know, or not be cooperative or something, you know, in a team project or something. I had a lot of these things happen, but this happens in all walks of life. Doesn't matter what you're doing. It's just a job. And that's the point I was trying to make to you guys. Doesn't matter if you're shoveling shit, right? There's pride in it. You're doing a job for a paycheck. None of us are better than anyone else. If I, if I were your boss at a company, I wouldn't be any better than you. I don't own the company if I'm working for it, right? Right. I'm getting a paycheck just like you are. I'm getting pensions and benefits just like you are, right? So who do I think I am? Exalted? I can't fly. I can't float somewhere. So I have to drive a car. I have to put gas in my car, just like you, right? I came to work. I got up in the morning. I had a cup of coffee. I drove somewhere, just like you guys. So in reality, the hustle and bustle of life is what's afforded to all of us humans. No one is better than you in these workspaces, right? Now, many of you set yourselves up because you're in such a low place of esteem and you feel so bad and you want to be accepted. And this is how you leave your windows up, so to speak. And these drafty houses that you are allow for these low level spirits and energies to permeate your bodies. Right. Help you do things right. That master planning boss who literally makes who's who's literally getting paid a high salary just to play games pretty much because the company is running itself. All of the smart, bright minds like yourselves, you guys are the ones who are making the company go. Not that boss. That boss is merely a face to take credit, right? They could be replaced too, but they don't know that, right? So I'm trying to get you folks to understand about taking yourselves too seriously. That's the problem in life. We all take ourselves too seriously. But I saw this. I would see this all the time. These senior, you know, managers or something would get around and, you know, you know, you know, pull on the belt buckle or something. I'm this, I'm that, you know, I'm, I'm so-and-so. Not realizing that your lifespan is not decided by you, right? You know, 
your health is not decided by you, right? You're, you're big shit until you get the flu and then you're, and then you're sick, right? Then you're, you're calling out, you're sniffling and sneezing and, you know, and, and, and praying to God that you come out of this, right? You see, you're human. You're not, you're not supernatural. You're not immortal. So, so when you get a paycheck, if you can't just come to work and, and dutifully do your jobs, right? Whether you're bosses or not, then you're, you're pieces of shit. And you are the problem with the world, right? Because because the, the, the standards that you set and you have people following behind you and they want to be like you and and, and, uh, and, and, and following your footsteps and trying to, to take you over or take your place or something because they think that that's what they're supposed to do. They're being misled. If they're, if they're willing to harm someone, they're being misled. The unenlightened people at your jobs, right? They're weasel faced dogs because they just have a low nature in general by even being willing to do such things to another person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're getting a little bit deeper than this, right? Than what we discussed previously. In this video, we're talking about your spirit of enlightenment, right? The unenlightened, the people who think of themselves as greater than they are, right? You know, I have a set of keys that can open that door and you can't, so I'm better than you. Like, it's, they're just fucking keys. If the earth blew up tomorrow, who cares about the fucking keys? Think about it for a minute. I, I said this in another video. If you had one day to live and I gave you a million dollars the day before, the day prior, would it matter? If someone came to you and said, oh man, you're a millionaire, you have a lot of money, you would be like, you see, that life force is more valuable than the money. You don't even understand that, see? So if you're living in your egos because of some, you know, uh, way that life has been shown you, then you're lost. And that is the tragedy in these workplaces, right? So if the company does not prosper in the, in the future years, it's because of the, the forces of foolishness in the workplace of all of you guys who have helped bring the company down. It's supposed to be in just a business, right? Y'all have supposed to be doing something for the purpose of, you know, a good or a service or something for the purpose of growing that company, right? You have a job and your coworkers have a job, but when you're trying to backstab all your coworkers and, you know, be the boss one day because the boss is going to get old because, see, they're not immortal, right? So they're going to get old. They're going to die off one day, right? And then someone will spring up in their place just like them. And that's the process. A bunch of narcissistic sociopaths in these workplaces. So you have to be strong, folks, Right? Don't be those people. And if I'm telling you something today, at least be enlightened on what I'm telling you, right? You may say, oh, I don't have to listen to him till you break your leg. Then you need someone to help you, right? You see? Till you get sick, then you need someone to help you, right? Another person, right? Your status means nothing, right? You could be anybody, but you could still get a cold. You can still get sick. You can still die. You can still get hit by a bus, right? You're not thankful for the, the sunshine that comes. You don't understand the greatness and things of life like I told you guys. You worry about the most trivial things. You watch your TV shows and shit. You know, that means everything to you, right? Because you're a fool. You know? But I witnessed all of these people at the workplace, which is why I had to get the hell out of Dodge. Because it was so serious. It had gotten to a point of... You know, of no return where I just knew that I had to do something better than this because I was suffering every day. Like many of you guys out there, I was suffering immensely, greatly. Right. Dealing with these people who are of a lower nature, not knowing how to help them, not knowing how to fix them or, or, or talk to them or do anything for them. That's 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 what troubled me because it created bad days for me and people like me. So the justice impact will always catch hell in these environments, folks. And if you're that, if you can realize, you know, yeah, we're badasses. But if you can realize that, you know, that, that, that there's too much fight to be had, you'll be you'll be more the wiser. You'll be more enlightened. See, the problem is that too many of us are unenlightened or we think that we're enlightened, but we're only enlightened on foolish things. Right. How to make more money, you know, how to get over on someone, how to lie to someone. These are the things that we feel that we gloat about and we take pride in being manipulative and all of the foolish things of the world, especially in the workplace. 
right? Because you're going to have to go to work, right? You're in the world, so you're going to have to work a job. You're going to have to pay bills and stuff. And it's not all about that. But you shouldn't have someone stressing you to the point where you can't even just do that. It's just a task. Shoveling shit, filing paperwork, it's all the same. See? Counting money, whatever you're doing is all the same. Do not ever think of your sales greater than another person because of your unenlightenment. Right? Because then you would be a weasel face dog. Scumbag scumbucket. Hello, bad behavior, folks. I like enlightenment more. I like people that want to try to do better more. Right? That's how we're going to change this thing around. That's how we're going to turn it around and make it better. You know? Like the videos and share them and subscribe, guys. You know? Take heed to what I said today. Y'all have a nice day.